there's many ways that we can use to, to test and see where, um, if it's a, you know, how these skin allergies, what they're from, uh, the food allergies, what they may be from. Uh, the, generally adults know what they're allergic to as far as foods go. By that time they've tried a lot of things that can do that. So we usually see the food allergies in kids. Uh, but nonetheless, uh, tracking down what caused the allergy can be difficult. Um, it's, uh, it's definitely a work in progress with a lot of patients. Uh, you basically just backtrack and see what they were exposed to that was different or new. Uh, maybe it was a soap they used, maybe it was some food that they had, had never had before, some spice that they had never used before. It could be multiple things. Um, with that being said, the, uh, once you start eliminating those things, so if they, if they had tried some food, you say, well, stay away from that food and let's see what happens. And if they have another reaction and they were not taking that, then uh, we start looking for other reasons for it. Uh, the, uh, as far as the, uh, the gold standard, I should say, for diagnosis, it's skin testing. So they, you know, they take a little bit of the, what they call antigen, and stick it under your skin with a little needle. And if you react to it and you get a big welt, then we know you're allergic to that. And so that's the testing kind of gold standard for those things. Uh, we don't do that in the office here, but, uh, but you certainly we use more of a detailed history to kind of determine what maybe they, uh, what they're allergic to or how to determine that.